Yeah, we've got uh, some showers and thunderstorms as you are stepping outside this morning. And how about that with the cold front moving on in? We will dry things out quickly by later this afternoon. In fact, it's kind of warm and muggy as you step outside right now. By later today, the grass fire risk will be up with very low humidity values and a gusty northerly wind. And then another cold front is on the way for the weekend. That'll be our next chance for showers and storms after we get past this morning. But speaking of those storms, let's get a look at it here. Watch these storms. This is I'm going to show you something that's really cool meteorologically. You can see this fine line right here. That's the wind shift with our cold front. So what is happening is that air from the north and west is bumping into the warm and muggy air that we've got in place and it's lifting the atmosphere and watch this right there. The thunderstorms just pop up as that comes through right here just to the north and northeast of the metro. Seeing a few more starting to pop here now even around Coweta uh, seeing a small little uh, cell pop up. But let's take a look here right over parts of Rogers County. You can see uh, some thunderstorms here from Oolaga about ready to move here into Claremore and now coming into Chelsea as well. A little bit of lightning and thunder with this at most maybe some uh, gusty winds, maybe a little bit of small hail as we go farther to the north and to the east. A fairly strong storm tracked right near Welch that's now near Commerce and that's going to continue to track here into southwestern portions of Missouri near Joplin as we go here over the next 15 to 30 minutes or so. So again with this cold front moving in we are going to have that chance for a few showers and storms through the morning hours and then everything will clear out pretty quickly late morning through midday. I'm going to step back here for lucky Maybe we can get a flash of lightning here on one of our uh, cameras. Uh, you can see it. Oh, look at the one there at Brookside. You can see the towers there. Those are the thunderstorms off to the north and east of Tulsa. How cool is that? I'm going to point that out right here. See that? That's your thunderstorm tower going up right there. Uh, if we're lucky, maybe we'll get a lightning flash out of that. But unfortunately, nature's uh, not cooperating. But uh, if you're out this morning, just be mindful where we are seeing some of those showers and storms. Maybe allow a little extra time as you're going out. 69 degrees right now in Tulsa. We were 79 yesterday for the high. We'll probably be pretty close to that again today. That drier air pushes in though. No storms this afternoon. Windy and dry. 80 south, 70s as you go a little farther to the north. And then tonight we'll see temperatures dropping down through the 60s into the 50s and maybe even a few 40s tomorrow morning. Some of those favorite cool spots. Reinforcing shot of cooler air comes in tonight. That'll keep temperatures down just a few degrees tomorrow compared to what we are going to see today. But then another warm up ahead of the next cold front that comes in late Saturday afternoon into Saturday evening. Higher storm chances Saturday night into Sunday morning look to be over southern portions of the region. We'll fine tune that as we get a little Little bit closer. On Friday, we start to warm it back up. 81 degrees for the high. Saturday will be the warmest of the next few days. And the behind that cold front Saturday night, watch the temperatures drop here as we go into next week. Highs in the 60s, potentially could see 30s, maybe a frost to light freeze situation across parts of green country going into next Wednesday morning.